Um, this is a male reproductive system. Um, this one is a urinary bladder, okay? Um, and uh, um, we have a testis, scrotum right here, okay? And this one is, this is start from here. This is a penis. Tip of the penis is called glans penis, G-L-A, G-L-A-N-S, glans penis. And you can see here, um, opening of this area is called meatus, urethral opening right here, okay? And this area, this structure is an, um, this is the penis and uh, they are connected with the ligament right here. Um, this is a gland penis and this is a um, prepuce, circumcised, uncircumcised person will have a prepuce up to here. So circumcision, after circumcision, they will have pre prepuce in this area only. It's a prepuce, okay? And if you, if you take it out, if you take it out, this open up this part, and you can see the second um, mid-sized plane. So you you're gonna see in the, they are erectile tissue, or uh, erectile tissue. They are um, they are corpora corpora cavernosa. This one is corpora cavernosa. Um, corpora spongy spongiosum. Corpus spongiosum. The urethra, urethral opening, corpora, corpora corpus spongiosum, uh, found in both side of the both side of the urethra. Uh, it helps to it helps to pass sperm and uh, urine uh, smoothly from uh, from the urethra. And uh, and you can see. The test is the scrotum right here, scrotum. The scrotum is here. Um, and uh, this one is the testes, right? And this area is called this one. The testes uh, manufacture sperm, which is called spermatogenesis. And this area right here, this is called tunica. Albu, albu, albu genia, okay, this one. The layer which is attached with the testes is called tunica albu genia, okay? And uh, another layer here, right here, another layer, this is called tunica vaginalis. Tunica vaginalis has two layers. One layer attached with this testes is called um, visceral layer, and which is outside is called parietal layer. So in between there is a fluid. Okay, and the testes manufacture sperm produced by the te testosterone is a hormone produced by the testes, and the sperm will accumulate here, and they mature and nourish in this area. This is called epididymis. This guy epididymis, okay? And from here, sperm travels through this, through this uh, spermatic cord, vast difference, the, yeah, va vast difference, and uh, all these artery vein vast difference um, are, uh, are passing through this spermatic cord. This is called a spermatic cord, okay? And the um, tubes which carry sperm is called vast difference or ductus difference. And this, the blue one is a vein, pampiniform plexus, and the um, red one is a testicular artery. So artery carries blood to the testes. Um, and uh, uh, to, to in the inter, inter, inter count, in, encounter um, the, um, the temperature or maintain the temperature the pampiniform venous plexus will minimize the temperature. The arterial blood the blood causes produces heat, and the venous plexus uh, reduce the temperature to maintain the temperature in the testes. So sperm can be produced. Spermatogenesis can be uh, carried out. 
So this one is called cremaster muscle. Cremaster muscle. Okay. This is a cremaster muscle. Uh, this is a um, actually um, during a cold cold temperature. If the if you are taking sour or the temperature uh, testes become colder, and the cremaster muscle pulls the testes towards the torso, towards the body, uh, to get the temperature. Okay, so it will always uh, moving in and out. I'm going upward direction. I'm um, moving. If it's a very uh, hot, the testis goes down because of this cremaster muscle. Uh, this one is called. Uh, this one is a spermatic cord, and you can see this the the um, vast difference passes through this inguinal canal. This inguinal canal. You know, initially the testes are located in the abdominal before birth. They are located in the abdominal cavity. When after birth, they will come down to the um, scrotum. Okay, come down to the scrotum. So, um, so the the sperm the vas difference vas difference actually uh, passes through this um, inguinal canal, and and you can see an artery and vein, and it passes above this urinary bladder. Okay, you can see the urinary bladder right here passes through the urinary, above the urinary bladder. And, um, and when it becomes a little bit wider, this area is called uh, ampulla of, ampulla of uh, uh, vast difference or ductus difference. Um, so here, some, some of the, some of the um, sperm can be stored before ejaculation. And, uh, um, and uh, this, this area right here, is not connected to each other, okay? This is the ampulla, this is a, a seminal vesicle. Seminal vesicle releases really semen, alkaline semen, and um, it helps to, uh, it comes together. These two, the sperm from the um, ampulla of um, spermatic, cord, spermatic cord, or ductus difference, and um, um, this one is a seminal vesicle come together and uh, they become common they become common ejaculatory duct right here see comes here when they come together these two come together and here they ejaculate here when, when ejaculate from here that's why it's called ejaculatory duct see right here these two comes together these two comes together and it becomes ejaculatory duct right here okay they ejaculate and this this area right here this one this is a prostate prostate okay they are found below the bladder inferior to the bladder so the sperm travels from here okay this is called this is called um, um, this is called um, prostate gland found only in male female don't have prostate gland um, so on the prostate gland above this prostate prostate gland and uh, there is a sphincter which is called internal sphincter controlled by autonomic nervous system this is a det det detrusor muscle Okay, it has a lot of receptors also. And the trigone, trigone, there is a one opening here coming from ure, uh, ureter, right here, ureter, this one, ureter, ureter from the kidney opens here. This is, this is a ureter orifice, and other side also you have a ureter orifice, okay, ureter orifice right here. And this, this right, this area right here where the urine um, goes down to the um, uh, urethra, this is called, uh, this is called, uh, uh, urethral orifice, okay, ureter, ureter or orifice and urethral orifice, and there is an internal sphincter right here, controls the flow of the urine, internal sphincter controlled by autonomic nervous system, and they are the rugae, okay, they, are, they have enough surface area to expand the bladder and also um, um, comes to the original shape, so, so they, they are the rugae of the bladder, it has a transitional epithelium, it has a transitional epithelium um, cells and tissue, uh, and after that, um, the urine uh, the urine flows to this uh, this area right here. See right here. Mm, let me see, let me see. So, so you, the sperm the sperm passes through this uh, through this urethra, right? There are three parts of the urethra. This is called this is called um, prostatic urethra. Here, membranous urethra, 
okay? And this one is called spongy urethra, okay? Spongy urethra. So, why it is called membranous urethra? This is called, this is the skeletal muscle, okay? Which is also called urogenital diaphragm. Uro, urogenital diaphragm, this one, okay? Um, urogenital diaphragm has a, also a sphincter, which is called external sphincter. Kegel exercise done with this, the, from this area. So you can constrict and dilate this, these muscles right here. Kegel exercise. Um, this is called urogenital uh, diaphragm, but they, they have a internal, external um, sphincter from this area to control the urine flow. Um, and uh, uh, right here, in the male, we have a copper's gland. This copper's gland, this one right here, this copper's gland uh, release the mucus to alkaline mucus to lubricate the, the urethra, okay, and also makes this urethra alkaline. So, from this one is called prostatic urethra. This right here, this is called membranous urethra. Okay, I'm gonna ask you all this in the exam. And this one is called spongy urethra because cor corpus spongiosum is in between the corpus spongiosum. That's why this is called spongy urethra, all these up to here. And opening of the uh, opening of the urethra is called um, urethral opening, orifice, or you can say meatus. Meatus means opening of the opening of the um, urethra. Okay, so and this is a, a anal canal. Okay, anal canal, uh, anal canal, and um, um, anal canal has a internal sphincter and external sphincter. Okay, you can see here also clearly. Uh, I can show you in other other um, model. Uh, anal canal, and this is a, this one is called um, prostate gland. Okay, and this one. Ampulla and the seminal vesicle, right? Seminal, seminal vesicle. Oh, this looks like an angry bird. Angry bird eye. That's what they say, but you don't write an angry bird. This is the ampulla and the seminal vesicle, and it opens to the, um, it opens to the, or opens right here. This is called ejac common ejaculatory duct. Okay. Um, most of the thing I already told you from here in the male reproductive system. Um, so this is the ureter, okay, this is ureter. Um, okay, that's it, thank you, that's it.